Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. My name is Raja Zahira Afika binti Raja Zainal Abidin. Matrix number B20EA0024. I will be presenting my major part is water reticulation system. As for the introduction, a water reticulation system is a series of pipes installed around the perimeter of a residence or building under a concrete pavement or field. The main function of water articulation system is to help deliver water from its original source which is from the water tank to its destination which is to the consumers with the aid of pressure and energy generated by that pressure. There are several components included in this water articulation system which is first of all water tank, water pump, joint fittings and valves, domestic water meter, firefighting meter, fire hydrant, and firefighting pipe. There are several objectives in designing this water articulation system. The first one is to determine the peak flow and fire flow rate required. The second one is to identify the suitable pipe size and pressure head. The third one is to determine water velocity in pipe and lastly is to determine the volume and capacity of the storage tank. So, for the project details of our task, the, pro the proposed site of the project is located in Ulu Tiram, Johor. All the design guidelines that we, design, that we use to design this project is in accordance to Suruhanjaya Perkhidmatan Air Negara or known as PAN. So, the details for this project, for our design, we used closed loop pipe network system because it is suitable for all types of consumers and it is acceptable for a wide range of users. Let me share with you an example. If in, in that proposed site, if there is one pipe that is broken or damaged that needs to be stopped for maintenance work, um, the other consumer will still get the water supply by using this closed loop pipe network system. We also use variety size of pipe diameter because it must be changed if the residual pressure head is ineffective. So the diameter of pipe that we use is 100 mm, 150, 200, 250 and 280 mm. So we use overall is 5 size of pipe diameter. In addition, as the requirement the pipeline must be buried underground with depth of 1.2 meter for the site and under roadways. But if the if it is away from roadways, it must the pipeline must be buried below 0 0.9 meter underground. And if there is any slope, the maximum slope is limited to a ratio of 1 to 500. If the slope exceeds the ratio 1 to 500, we must use an anchor block. To, to prevent sliding. This is the picture that we draw on AutoCAD. As I mentioned before, there is 12 loop and the red color is the fire hydrants. So the flow in each pipe is typically computed using the Hardy cross method through a process of trial and error according to a stopping condition. So next, so based on this table, the left table is in accordance to span and the right one is our design as you can see here the number of loop there is 12 loop as in our design the example is for loop number one we have industry ringan cluster asrama pekerja pe and ppu so for each of this type of buildings we refer to the left box which is from span and then we calculate to get the average flow rate at the right side of the right box. So overall, we total up and we get the sum for the average flow rate for all loops. Okay, next for this slide, there are two, two boxes. The left one is the calculation of water demand for peak flow and the right one is for the fire flow. So basically, the average flow rate is the result we obtained from the previous box, previous calculation. And then we transfer it to this one. And for the peak flow, 
the average flow rate is multiplied with 2.5 which is 2.5 is the peak factor for urban or rural area we must we have to choose between um, urban area and or, urban or rural area or which is 2.5 the peak factor or another one is 3.0 for Felda area so uh, our proposed site is in the category of rural or urban area so we multiply with 2.5 and we get a total of 27.2802 liter per second for peak flow so the right box is the fire flow the same thing from the average flow rate from the previous calculation we multiply by one for so we get the fire flow rate and we total up and get the sum of 33.746 liter per second in designing this water articulation system, we also use a software which is known as ePanet. The first step that we use, that we apply using in using this ePanet software is firstly we draw the pipe network. We can also transfer from AutoCAD to ePanet but we draw the pipe network manually. And then the second step is we insert information at each node and pipe such as the pipe length, pipe diameter, pipe roughness, elevation, and peak flow. For the elevation, we obtain the data from Earthwork Department. And then the third one is we check if our drawing, if the drawing of our pipe network can be run or is there have any error. If the drawing can be run, it will be successful and um, ePanet will give us a result of um of several data for peak flow analysis and fire flow analysis. I will show you the result later. Okay. Then from the result, we have to ensure that we have to check one by one the data given, and we have to ensure that all areas have the pressure value between seven point five to thirty meter, and the velocity value will not exceed two meter per second. This is to make sure that all area will receive sufficient amount of water. Okay, so this is the result from ePanet. The left one is the result from ePanet for peak flow analysis and the right one is for the fire flow analysis. As we can see here, the same data given to us, which is the parameter is head, pressure, velocity, flow, and head loss. Next, we proceed with the water tank design. As we can see in this picture from ePanet, we locate we locate our water tank at the end of the proposed side, which is at the left side of the proposed side overall overall proposed side, which is at loop one. So what do we need to calculate for the water tank design? So first of all, we have to calculate the capacity of the elevated water tank. For the total water demand, we obtain the value from the previous calculation and we convert it to liter per day and then we get we will get the volume of the required required value to supply water to the consumers so the volume that we gain the requirement is 938.3 meter cube so from that we propose a the size a suitable size for the water tank the final proposed size is 20 meter for the diameter and 4 meter for the height so we substitute the value in the volume of water tank formula and we get 1256.64 meter cube which is much more greater than the required volume so it is considered okay and we proceed to the next calculation so, now we proceed to the water tank design. We use the Bernoulli's equation. For the with this Bernoulli equation, we obtain we calculate for the bottom water level. So, the data for this calculation is obtained from the previous calculation and also from ePanet. So, we get 85.73 m for the bottom water level, which is the bottom of the water tank from the elevation. And then we calculate the top water level, which is by adding bottom water level 
with the height of water tank that we proposed just now, which is 4 meter. So we get the top water level is 89.73 meter. So lastly, the elevated water tank design. So for the elevated water tank design, this is the final drawing where the it, where this tank can can store 1257 meter cube of water with a dimension of diameter 20 meter and height of tank is 4 meter and elevation 5.7 meter that's all for the major part and the design for our water articulation system thank you